Next thing I would like to look at is rolling on your screen. And I'm taking you all the way to Burkina Faso. Crazy Burkina B witch doctor heals multitudes. There was this lady they said was crazy. Look at her. Young lady. They said she was crazy. She had started seeing things that were not existing. They chained her to a baobab tree. Beat her up. Her family said she was crazy and therefore she was chained. While she was chained, she was going through some spiritual upliftment. Today, my brother, my sister, when you go to Burkina Faso, thousands of people, tens of thousands of people gather at a certain big location to be healed by this woman. Run the story. Watch young woman in Burkina Faso becomes famous for her healing powers. And this is from African News. Thousands of people have come from near and far on Sunday to an area some 30 kilometers outside of Ouagadougou to see a young woman. It's an interesting story, isn't it? Come here. 20-year-old Amsetu Neklema, also known as Aja, is famous across Burkina Faso for what people believe are her healing powers. In this country, with every weak health, uh, with a very weak health infrastructure, and where traditional beliefs remain strong for people who are desperate or unable to afford treatment, she is a godsend. Yes, she is a godsend. As a child, her life was not easy. Haunted by visions, her parents thought she was crazy. Even although she told them this was not the case. There was a three-year-old who couldn't walk. And I swore on my life that I would treat her. For 12 days, he would walk. When I gave medicine, the child there got up on the 11th day and started walking. So on the 12th day, people started suspecting. She said, Aja says, some call it madness. Others say it is not. But just three years after her first healing, her reputation continues to grow. Today, I don't even know why God gave me power to this point. If I get up and I say I want this, he gives it to me. If I say someone is sick, if, if I see someone sick, if I say I will help him, he helps the person. Her healings are free, but she welcomes offerings from the people who come. Who come. Buildings have sprung up around the site, funded by wealthy donors and traders, stalls, clutter, the crowded road uh, to her tent. On a patch of uh, open land. Burkina Faso is a predominantly Muslim country and she uses religious prayers, traditional medicine and spell clearing ceremonies to heal. Officially, only 9% of Burkina Bays consider themselves animists, a figure that is reportedly largely underestimated. Aja would declare powerlessness in desperate cases or those outside the field of expertise and people believe in her integrity. The patient was suffering from recurrent vertigo. She took medication from all sides but to no avail. An acquaintance told us about her and we came. When we came, everything went back to normal and he was able to return to work, said Awa Tiendre Buogo, a relative of uh, the patient. As a child, Aja says she was considered crazy and was rejected, beaten and chained by her family. But today she thinks her torturers, uh, she thanks her torturers, uh, saying that because of the way they treated her, she knows how to take care of people. Wow. That's a story. The family thought she was crazy. 
tied her up, beat her up, tied her to a baobab tree. Now she's healing tens of thousands of people. Let me show you a video of what she does when she's healing people. A sea of people have come from near and far this Sunday to see a young woman. 20-year-old Adja is famous across Burkina Faso for what people believe are her healing powers. For those who are desperate or unable to afford treatment, she is a godsend. At the beginning of the madness, I told my parents I'm not crazy, but they didn't believe. There was a three-year-old who couldn't walk, and I swore with my life that I would treat him for 12 days and he would walk. When I gave medicine, the child got up on the 11th day. Expecting. Some say it's madness, others say it's not. As incantations ring through the air, Adja walks among the crowd. She uses Muslim prayer, traditional medicine and spell-clearing ceremonies to heal. Today I don't even know why God gave me power to this point. If I get up and say I want this, he gives it to me. If I see someone sick, if I say I'll help them, he helps the person. In this country where traditional beliefs remain strong, her healings are free, but she does accept offerings. The patient was suffering from recurrent vertigo. We took medication from all sides, but to no avail. An acquaintance told us about Adja and we came. When we came, everything went back to normal. He managed an orange money booth and was able to return to work. Adja will declare her powerlessness in desperate cases or those outside of her field of expertise, and people believe in her integrity. As a child haunted with visions, she says she was considered crazy, rejected, beaten and chained by her family. But today, she thanks her torturers, saying that because of the way they treated her, she knows how to take care of people. So that's a beautiful young lady called Aja. And you've seen what she's doing. Spirituality. Treating and healing so many different people. The masses are going there and getting healed. Come here. I am happy to see some of these things. But we must be able to draw a thin line. Between spirituality and madness i see a stepping on the stomachs of people i hope that soon this one does not turn into asking people to eat human excreta beating up people all in the name of religion and spirituality people are being buried alive before you realize all the tens of thousands of followers are told that the world is coming to an end so they should set themselves on fire. In fact, some of these things have happened in Africa and some other parts of the world. We still remember the case of Guyana where such a sad thing happened. We don't want to recount that anymore. I'm happy to see the African tradition grow. I'm happy to see the power of the African God rise so high but at the same time, we must be smart enough to tell when it is becoming madness. Congratulations to Aja. Next time I'm in Nigeria, I will find time and go and visit her. And we might be able to bring you an original story from Black Empire TV. Black Empire TV.